Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be talking about my signature scents in my fragrance collection. So you guys know I cannot have a single signature scent. I have a lot of fragrances. I love all of my fragrances. But if I could choose a couple of handfuls of fragrances that when people smell them, they will be like, oh yes, that's definitely a Paula kind of scent. This is that every time they smell them, they will remember me. These are the ones that I'll be choosing. The first one is of course Juicy Couture Gold Couture. I started my YouTube channel talking about this fragrance. I still love this. This is my second bottle. I am being complacent though because I know that I can still find this here if I really hunt it down. I don't have a backup bottle. I'm not really the type that keeps backup bottles. I love this. This is a caramel fragrance. Fruity, sweet, caramelly. It's soft. It's cozy. It's everything. It's very fun and playful. And I think I'm just in love with this scent profile because of how easy this fragrance is to wear. It's just an easy read. And I am a very low maintenance kind of person so I'm not really very fussy. I'm not you know i'm just very easy outgoing just like this fragrance is i guess that's why i really connected with this one so this is juicy couture gold couture the second one is no surprise to you guys this is jessica simpson's fancy i have yet to repurchase another bottle i'm almost out of this one i consider this one already as an empty bottle even though i think i have maybe 5 ml left with this 100 ml. This is another sweet caramelly fragrance. You guys may notice that I love my very sweet fragrances, especially sweet, fruity sweet, tooth achingly sweet kind of fragrances. And this is that kind of scent as well. This is very, very sweet. I hear from a lot of people that this one doesn't last on them at all, but I guess I'm just one of the lucky few where this one lasts for more than six to eight hours. A very affordable fragrance again another easy to wear low maintenance kind of you know fragrance you know you just wear it you spray it you smell good you smell good the whole day nothing really super fancy but it's still really really fancy this one is a pear caramel i think this one also has peach but it's mostly a very free sweet kind of fragrance it's very sugary as well so that's fancy by jessica simpson I just want to talk about another celebrity fragrance. This one is another easy fragrance to wear. Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. So this is a big departure from the very sweet fragrances that I talked about, the first two ones. I noticed that I prefer fragrances that are just very simple, you know, straight to the point, easy to use, you know, nothing really complicated. Even though I love my adventurous fragrances, I still prefer my easy to use fragrances where you know i know what i'm gonna expect to smell and i know i'm gonna smell really good the whole day i don't have to think about it i don't have to spend a lot of brain cells when i wear these fragrances because i know i'm very confident that i'm gonna smell good and i'm gonna feel really great the whole day so this is a musky narcissus kind of fragrance it's powdery it's white floral it's heavy on the musk and i really love it this one is incredibly long lasting you guys this and also fancy they stay on my skin and on my clothes for more than six to eight hours it's really amazing considering that they are celebrity fragrances and they are super affordable so these three by the way are ones that i would definitely repurchase if i run out of them and i'm almost out of these fragrances here obviously i really really love them and i have another celebrity fragrance this one though is sadly discontinued i can no longer find this anywhere here in iceland this is private show by britney spears if i can find another bottle of this one and the vip i will definitely buy them these are repurchase worthy they are everything backup bottle worthy this one private show by britney spears is a floral fragrance but it has sweet notes as well this is creamy lactonic it has whipped cream it has caramel obviously i love caramel in my fragrances but this one also has shampooy florals and another fragrance where i'm lucky in terms of performance because this one lasts on me an average six to eight hours and for a celebrity fragrance it's affordable and for the scent profile given that this one is a shampooy floral with creamy lactonic accords it's amazing how it can last that long this is such an easy scent to wear as well if i just want something that has some caramelly lactonic sweetness just like gold couture but then it has some floral must clean qualities i reach for this one private show by britney spears then i have another repurchase worthy backup bottle worthy i still have to find a good deal on this one that is why i haven't purchased this one yet this is al hermain amber oud rouge I consider this one an empty bottle. This, I always talk about this fragrance, you guys. You know that this is a 
Paco Rouge 540 kind of scent profile. This is closer to the X-Trade. I love this. I'm obsessed with this one. This is woody and it has that BR540 scent profile. Woody, floral, amber. It has some sugary qualities to it as well. I love that it. it is a straight unisex kind of fragrance. It is woodier than the original BR540 but it's still very, very, very close. And if there is one fragrance that I know people will remember me by at work, it is this one. Al Haramain Amber Oud, and this is the Rouge Flanker. Keeping the trend with almost empty bottles, I have this very embarrassing Yes I Am by Cacherelle. I'm almost out of this, you guys. Obviously, I really love this. I don't just talk about my fragrances saying that they're really nice and, you know, never wear them. I do. Obviously, this is Yes I Am, the original. I've tried the pink one, pink Yes, I am pink first, I think. I forgot the name. And the purple one, fabulous. It's really nice. The purple one I prefer because it's closer to this, but I'm loyal to this fragrance. And that's how I am with fragrances. Like, if there is one that I'm really loving, I'm loyal to that. And I'm not really that interested in trying flankers or adding flankers to my collection. That is the case in this fragrance. I have a separate video. This one, in summary, is a fruity, sweet, floral, lactonic fragrance. It has, well, what do you know? This one has caramel as well, just like all the other fragrances I have here. This has caramel. This has milk. And it also has some spices. I noticed that I love licorice and tonka bean heavy fragrances. This one also has ginger. A very, very beautiful one. The these fragrances you guys are just so easy to wear so they are like my signature scents and also like easy reach easy grab you know no brain cells use kind of fragrances so that's yes i am by cacherelle the edp the original one and then let us go on to some indie niche fragrances. Here I have I Am Beautiful by Theodoro Scalutinis. You guys know how I love this house so much. I have a lot of his fragrances, almost all of them. And you guys know I'm obsessed with Coffee Addict and all the other fragrances. But if there is one fragrance that I want people to remember me by or like people to relate to me or connect with me, it's I Am Beautiful because this is another very sweet fragrance. This has red berries, it has cranberries, it has patchouli. But this one basically just smells like candies. This one smells like Jolly Rancher or Jelly Beans, whatever you want to imagine. Just very sweet candies. And I just love my sweet fragrances. I either love adventurous fragrances or musky white florals or I love my very sweet fragrances. And that's this one. I am beautiful by Theodoro Scalutinis. Speaking of very sweet fragrances, I have a lot of more sweet fragrances coming. This one is Guimauve de Noël by Parlez-moi de Parfum. Orange blossom, sugar, vanilla, but yes, it smells like marshmallows to me. And I think that's because of the orange blossom. It has that waxy, sugary kind of texture. I obviously love this one because I have a huge dent in it. Another easy to use fragrance. I should just call this fragrance, you know, like easy wear, easy grab fragrances. So this is Guimauve de Noël. Another fragrance that I have here that's also signature scent worthy. A fragrance that I want that every time they smell it, they will think of me. Very similar to Guimauve de Noël. This is Orchidie Vanille. Let's just appreciate that juice color. It's getting darker and darker the longer I have this in my collection. It just makes me want to, you know, save the bottle. I want to use this set up. I want to purchase another bottle and just watch this juice darken and darken over time. So anyway, Orchidie Vanille by Van Cleef & Pels. This one is a floral fragrance. Vanilla, of course. It has citruses and it has powdery accords. Really, really beautiful, easy-to-wear vanilla fragrances. Both of these are like my favorite kinds of vanilla or favorite kinds of floral vanilla. This one has some citrus touches on top, as I mentioned. It has some powdery accords. It's very cozy. You can wear this one all year. I wear this one all year i notice that this one leans powdery more powdery during the summertime but i love it now let us go to another floral this one is rose all day of course you guys know this one has to be included in the list these are the notes basically this one just smells like jammy honeyed sugary rose with stainless steel very nice it has plum it has apple crisp everything a strong scent profile so this is definitely like one of those occasion signature scents if for example these fragrances you know like private show and i am beautiful they're easy everyday fragrances orchidee vanille can be you know like a more dressed up fragrance same as we mopped in well and all the others are like easy to wear everyday fragrances if there is one fragrance that i want people to remember me by when it comes to you know special occasions it would be rose all day 
Another occasion fragrance, this one is a sandalwood scent, Sandalwood Temple by Sandra Jordan. You guys know I always talk about Jaipur chant when I talk about the house Sandra Jordan. That's my ultimate favorite. But when it comes to a signature scent, I love the scent profile, Sandalwood Temple. This is a sandalwood fragrance. It's warm, it's cozy, it's buttery, it's milky, it's everything. And this one is also another one of those occasion fragrances that I wear. But if the occasion calls for something quieter and more subtle compared to the very strong scent profile of Rosé all day, I reach for Sandalwood Temple. Now I have another dressed up fragrance, but this one is more, I think, fall and winter appropriate. I'm excited to try this one in the Philippines this summertime. Auto Portrait. I immediately had to add this to my collection when I tried a sample. I can't explain why. My husband thinks that this one is a very old masculine scent. I understand. This has a lot of resins and some woody notes as well. But for me, this is just everything. This is amazing. This one for some reason just makes me think of you know, black and white photos. I don't know, maybe because of the name Auto Portrait. But this is a very quiet, simple you know, hassle-free, confident kind of scent, you know, just being content with everything, happy. This is how I want to be, basically. <laughs> everything that I'm aiming for right now. So this is Auto Portrait by Olfactive Studio. Love that one. It's all about resins, I said. It's warm, but it's more fall and winter appropriate. But of course, I will be experimenting with this one come summertime. And then, of course, you guys are like, where is this? Is her? There she is. Another sandalwood fragrance, sandalwood, chestnut, whipped cream, vanilla, jasmine, everything. This is a Paula kind of scent. Of course, she has to be included. You guys may have already guessed these fragrance choices. You've already guessed maybe Fancy, Rosé All Day, Gold Couture. So it just shows how much I really love these fragrances. And they're really my signature scents whiff of a waffle cone by imaginary authors this is my signature scent that i marked in my fragrantica profile everything everything about this vanilla salted caramel everything about it the scent profile the ambiance the feel the vibe of the scent whatever you want to call it the scent itself how sweet it is how annoyingly sweet it is for some people and how it just attacks your nose with all that sugary goodness that's how i am too a whiff of a waffle cone by imaginary authors and then I have a couple more two floral fragrances. Aphrodisiac by Dua Fragrances. This is a clone of Psychedelic Love. If I had the original one, if I had the full bottle of that, I would include that on the list. But for now, I am enjoying this one very, very, very much. I received a lot of compliments when I wear this. So you see, I have been wearing it a lot. And given that this is an extrait de perfume, that says a lot. I really adore this. Scent profile, powdery, floral, sugary, sweet. Not really, really very sweet though. This is more on heliotrope. It has almond, I think, and florals. I think this one is orange blossom. If I just talk about the original psychedelic love notes and myrrh as well, this one is very, very close to the original. And the last one is Pure Excess. Of course, Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. I love the bottle. Not really the biggest fan of snakes, but that's okay. Better than centipedes. But this one, popcorn, yellow florals, white florals, coconut, peach, vanilla, florals. I said like ylang ylang. This is orange blossom. This has everything. I love it. I love how unique the bottle is. I love how unique the scent is having that popcorn addition in the entrance. And then it has those tropical notes as well that remind me of home. This is powdery, glatonic, creamy, milky. It's sweet. It's fruity. It's just an experience with everything. You know, it tries down to a yellow powdery floral. Lasts super long. The popcorn is no longer there and it dry down. But the whole experience of this one, I just love it. And this is just one of those fragrances that I don't really smell a lot of people wear around me. And for sure, people will really remember me if I wear this around them because, yes, I overspray. 
That's Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I just wanted to talk about some fragrances that, you know, could be my signature scents or are my signature scents. These are the kinds of fragrances that I know people will remember me by. These are the ones that I talk about all the time. These are the ones that I wear all the time and confidently so. So these are the kinds of scent profiles that I love. Obviously, I love my florals, my yellow florals, powdery scents, sandalwood, and of course, very sweet fragrances with caramel, sugar, vanilla, tons of them, all of that. I always say in every single content, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.